Yes! Oh my god, guys, I did not expect that to work. Today, I'm going to be building a custom gold buckle clasp for my epic Mr. G G-Shock build. And I've got a couple of ideas to capture the essence of a genuine Mr. G strap for the best value possible. Because even the replica straps on AliExpress cost $507 and are completely out of stock. <laughs> In my original Mr. G parts unboxing video, I explained why I went with this standard black strap and bezel to save over $400. But now that I've actually built this bad boy, I'm sure you can understand why I've changed my mind and I really want this thing to look as close to the original as possible. So to make this strap just a little bit more Mr. G-ish without breaking the bank, I purchased this identical golden strap for just $29 off AliExpress. So let's open it up and walk through some of the ideas I had for this mod. I've brainstormed three options to replicate the original Mr. G strap. The first of which is to only replace these two black pushes with gold ones. And if we take a look at the original Mr. G strap, you'll note that there's a similar ratio of gold to black. So all that I would have to do to make this possible is find out a way to remove these and install them, but I'm not convinced it's actually possible. My second option is to simply fully replace this black buckle section with this golden one. And I know for a fact that that would be possible just by removing it via the spring bars. However, I'm a little concerned that the ratio of gold to black would not match the original. My third and final idea is to simply only replace these two internal sections with these beautiful gold ones. Now what that would mean is that when the clasp is closed, you really can't see any gold except maybe from the side a little bit, and only when you deploy it will you reveal the beautiful gold internals. So we'll start by exploring our first option by finding out if this little button clip is actually removable. To make our job a little easier, I'm excited to debut this little watch strap tool, which I picked up on AliExpress for just four bucks. And by the way, guys, as usual, any of the tools or parts that you see today, I'll leave links for you in the description below. So what do we get in here? Spring bar removal tool, that's pretty cool. Got a little hammer here, check that out. And uh, this is what we're really gonna be using. So. You can actually just sort of lay the strap in there or, you know, you can bend it just like that and really just have it securely locked in so that you can easily remove those spring bars. So it should be easier if we remove this whole clasp to find out whether it's possible. Yeah, very handy little tool. So let's get a real close look at this buckle. So Look, there's no, there's no secondary little spring bars next to the buttons which hold this whole section in place. So, I mean, I might try and use some pliers to just sort of tug it. In fact, maybe, you know, oh my God, I think, I reckon if we, if we push both of these in, oh my God, this is gonna work. Okay, let's, yes. Yes! Oh my God, guys, I did not expect that to work. Now check this out. It's actually not even gold on the inside, which means it must just be some kind of a coating. Okay, now we just need to get this exact same piece out of the black strap from the original. And hopefully this one is also loose because I remember thinking it might've been actually welded down, but uh, let's try and get it out. All right, now check this out. This little button section on the black one is actually a lot more stable. And if you take a look under here, you might be able to see that it's actually contact welded down to the outer clasp with four sections. And you can see the replicated version just here. So on this gold one, it actually just wasn't contact welded very well, which is why it was so loose. But this black one is actually gonna be a little bit more troublesome to remove. So my plan is, I'm actually going to open up my mini everyday carry kit, which was an awesome review, by the way, check that one out if you missed it. And the little tool that we're gonna grab is my Nipex Cobra mini pliers. And hopefully, we should be able to just loosen this up enough to remove it. So let's grab it, give it a, oh yeah, 
Let's loosen that side up. Okay. Yeah, that's wiggling now. Beautiful. So I reckon we should just be able to do the same. So maybe if I use the Nipex to just hold on to that and then maybe I can use my nail to... Yes, look at that. And we have not caused any damage. There's sort of a blank spot there, but that's fine. So now it's just a matter of installing this golden one and we are gonna be looking good. I am really happy with how this is going so far. So make sure to ram that like button if you're enjoying it as much <laughs> as I am. So installing it should be quite simple. I imagine we just sort of thread that through and then press that in with our nail like we did. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Okay, let's let's maybe try reversing it. Perhaps there is a correct orientation. So let's try this one first. Oh. Come on. Oh man. Doesn't want to go. So what I reckon is happening is these little bumps here are actually too tall. So it won't allow me to press it down compared to this black one that was in there. So all I'm going to do, guys, is just file these down a little bit and try again. Now let's give this a try. Maybe it's short enough now. Okay, put that one. Try and get this one. Oh, it's, oh, it's nearly there. A bit more filing, just a little bit more. All right, surely, surely this time. Let's go. Yes, check it out. That is looking absolutely perfect. Look at that from above. Oh yes, that looks so good. Give it a quick grip test onto the old clasp. Looks good to me. So let's get this reattached. Make sure you're a subscriber so you don't miss our next cool watch mods. Now let's get this second strap back on. Oh yes. All right, time for the final wrist check. We'll take off my GD350, which we've recently put this cool NATO strap on. And uh, that one was a cool short video if you want to check that one out. Oh yeah, look at that. Just marvelous. Really does look like the best we're gonna get compared to the original Mr. G strap. But guys, I'd love to know what you think about this epic Mr. G custom strap that we've built today. Do you think it was a success? I know that I'm certainly very happy with how it's turned out and the amount of money that we've saved. Here's an amazing video for you to watch next. And if you're in the mood to binge some videos, here's our watches playlist. Thank you to our GOAT crew channel members. And if you'd like to see your name up here, click here to join the GOAT or GOAT King membership tier. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next review.